Experts say runaways are at the highest risk of being involved in human trafficking and becoming addicted to drugs. That's why the Lucas County Sheriff's Office created a new specialized team. NBC 24's Bree Malaska joins us live from downtown. Bree, what is this unit going to do? Jamie, the Runaway Project will be an extension of the Lucas County DART unit where officers will not only search for the missing kids, but work to find them help as well. Experts say that will help them get on the right track instead of putting them right here in the Juvenile Justice Center. This is modern day slavery. We call it human trafficking, but it is slavery and we must put an end to it. Experts say this is an issue that hasn't been properly addressed and the perpetrators know it. The traffickers know we're not looking. They know we're not looking, and it's a choice for them to sell those bodies to be raped. So now, dozens of community partners are coming together to fund the Runaway Project, a team dedicated to finding missing kids and figuring out why they left in the first place. Anybody can come talk to a runaway, and it's going to just repeat the cycle. It's, they're going to keep running away if the right person does it. According to research done by the University of Toledo's Human Trafficking and Social Justice Institute, if a runaway is gone for more than two weeks, they're more than twice as likely to become addicted to drugs or fall victim to human trafficking. If we don't get kids who have run away, then 77% of our successfully trafficked kids will go on to adult prostitution where they will face HIV risk, post-traumatic stress disorder, other mental health conditions, frequent pervasive violence. Officials say Lucas County will be one of the first in the nation to tackle the problem proactively. We're going to be able to save a lot of lives. We're going to be able to help a lot of families and the children that are being abused. We're going to be able to stop that. Runaway Project officers have already started meeting with police departments in the area to identify habitual runaways and investigate further. Mostly in the past years, you know, the law enforcement, they find them, they take them off the missing list or the runaway list, and then they move on to the next one just because of the amount of kids there are. With this initiative, there's going to, we're going to have enough time to meet with the families, meet with the kids themselves, and really link them up with the, with the resources. So, Bree, how many officers are going to be on this special team? Well, Jamie, all the organizations raised a total of $250,000 to cover the, the uh, funds for five current officers. They say that they're going to work to raise another $50,000 to hire right. one more officer. Reporting live in Toledo, Bree Malaska, NBC 24 News.